Hello. In this session, we will see how to use custom exceptions and how to use custom problem details. In the last session, we integrated fluent validation in our solution. And if you remember, while doing that, we used built-in validation exception provided by fluent validation to throw the validation exception from pipeline behavior. In this session, we will create our own custom exception, invalid request exception to throw these type of validation exceptions. Also, if you remember, in our error handler middleware, we are reporting validation exceptions using validation problem details to our UI. Now this validation problem details is built-in class provided by ASP.NET but I think it is more suitable for MVC application. For API application this is little complicated. So to make things much simpler we will be writing our own problem details class which we will derive from problem details class and it will simply have array of errors instead of this complex structure. Before jumping to the code, let us discuss few important points. While working with custom exception class, there is a lot of confusion around it. You also might have question in your mind that should you create custom exception class for every validation rule or should you create only one? So before going ahead, let us try to understand few important points. The thumb rule is if you are building library, framework, or NuGet package that will be used by some other developers in their application development, then you should always define individual custom exception classes for every different exception that you are throwing from the library. This enables the client code to react differently to different types of exception as per its requirement. For example, in your NuGet package or library, if you have such type of specific exception classes then you are going in right direction. But if you are building software like web, windows, mobile app or web APIs and it is not a library package then you will not need separate custom exception classes for different types of exceptions. You can just use all built-in exception classes as we did in last session or at most you can define one exception class to handle all types of exceptions. However, in our project, we will be creating two exception classes, one to handle all request violations and other to handle all business rule violations. We will name these two exception classes like invalid request exception class, which will reside in application layer as it will deal with request or command object validations and in future we will be also adding business rule validation exception class which will reside in domain layer and we will use this class to throw all business rule violations. While writing this custom exception class we will not derive it from application exception class but we will always derive it from exception class. With this basic understanding now let us jump to the code. Go to application layer, Sidework folder. Inside that create new folder, name it custom exceptions. Inside custom exceptions folder, create class invalid request exception. We will derive this class from exception class. It will have errors property which is a list of strings to hold all the errors. And we will not have set accessor here because we will be setting it up using constructor only. So let us add a constructor which has one parameter to accept the list of errors and it will set that list to this property. So with this our invalid request exception custom exception class is ready. Once this exception class is ready now let us use it. Go to pipeline behavior, validation behavior. Here, if we have any failure in our request, we are using validation exception class provided by fluent validation. Instead of that, let us replace it with 
invalid request exception class which we have just created import the proper namespace now this class constructor accepts the list of string and not the list of validation failure as earlier so we have to make this simple so instead of validation failure we just need error messages so it will create list of strings and that we are passing to our custom exception class and it will set this list of failures to errors property this much is enough to use our invalid request exception class next change we need to do in our error handler middleware in our api project in this catch block now it will be invalid request exception import proper namespace and obviously we need to change data type of this parameter so go to this method and make that change here also now this is complaining wait for a while we will be fixing it now instead of validation problem details which is again built-in class provided by asp.net core we want to use our own problem details class and we want to name it invalid request problem details so let us create one let us create folder seed work in our api project inside this folder let us create folder custom problem details and inside this folder let us create class invalid request problem details and we will derive this class from problem details class let us import the namespace this class will be simpler than the validation problem details class which we used earlier this class will simply hold array of errors and let us write one constructor which will take that exception as a parameter and we will set all the required properties here itself so you can see that we are setting up title request validation error as we are creating this problem details class specifically to report request validations then status will be always bad request for such type of exceptions and to type we are setting up the url of bad request and to errors we are assigning list of errors which are there in our exception object this is a trace id which is unique identifier which we can use to identify particular error in our logs now again come back to error handler middleware and now our get bad request validation problem details will return invalid request problem details instead of validation problem details import the namespace and as we are setting up all this stuff in the constructor of invalid request problem details itself we can remove all this code and instead of creating object of validation problem details we will be creating object of invalid request problem details and its constructor needs two parameter invalid request exception object and another is trace id and as this class is very simple list of errors we will not need this mapping code and we will simply return this invalid request problem details you can rename this method for better clarity bad request problem details this is little shorter name that's it with these changes now we can test our application run it 
now let us try to test create story endpoint text property here is a required field so let us assign empty string to it and try to create story and now you can see that it is reporting errors which is an array of strings and it is saying that text which is in single quote which is property name must not be empty and then all other properties as it is as in our previous example but you can see the considerable change now how we are reporting the errors it is much simpler than our earlier version let us stop here if you find this content useful please like and subscribe if you wish to receive notification whenever a new episode is published then do not forget to hit the bell icon and click all option in the frequency drop down thank you